so uh, last class we discussed regarding uh, influence line diagram so in this particular class we had it's a just continuation of uh, influence line diagram so in previous class we discussed regarding uh, how to solve influence line with respect to uh, determinate structures especially cantilever beam and simply supported beam uh, when it is subjected to uh, point load as well as uniformly distributed load so in this particular class let me move on to the next very important topic so analysis of beams subjected to moving loads analysis of beams analysis of beams subjected to moving loads subjected to moving loads in sometimes it will termed as a train of concentrated loads moving loads moving loads or train of concentrated loads or rolling loads or rolling loads there are a few technical terms associated with this particular topic and it's very very important and very very simple topic so please try to understand the things here also you are getting uh, moving loads in uh, two ways moving loads uh, here also you are getting in two ways one is uh, you are getting udl uniformly distributed load and another one is a series of concentrated load a series of concentrated load concentrated load so uh, and also in both the cases they will give uh, uh, that is uh, fixed spacing spacing they will give in a question spacing they will give okay spacing is fixed in the problem okay so uh, with uh, this type of loadings we are going to study with moving loads on beams so for an example if you are considering a simply supported beam say for an example if you are going to consider a simply supported beam here i am considering a section c so a b a b see a series of loads series of loads like this 1 2 3 4 it's just a rolling on this beam so we have to determine what are the things we are going to determine on these two load cases first we are going to determine maximum shear force at supports maximum shear force at supports as well as or maximum support reaction both are same support reaction maximum support reaction second one maximum 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 shear force and bending moment at any given section at any given section given section or uh, another one is absolute maximum bending moment absolute maximum bending moment these are the generally you may expect in uh, mcq question or in any kind of problem so let me discuss one by one first we are considering the udl udl and next later on we move on to concentrated load these are the two loading patterns it's a train of loads train of loads you are having here is a train of concentrated loads which means in sense implies that say it is an w1 and this is w2 and this is w3 with fixed spacing it may be 2 meter 3 meter it mean moving in a direction in like this see generally whatever the first load uh, we are having head we are uh, call it as head and the last one we call it as tail tail so generally they will like uh, in some questions they will like that uh, the head is uh, moving a uh, tail is moving so like that they may uh, ask in mcq questions okay so first we let me let me move on to the first uh, load case what is the first load case what is the first load case what is the first load case UDL. Yes, moving UDL, moving UDL on beam. So here you are having two cases. Once again, here you are having two cases. Please be keep in your mind. Generally, they will uh, not ask uh, more and more problem. They will ask with respect to concept. They will ask with respect to concept. So in UDL, moving UDL, you are getting two types. One is say for an example, you are having a beam, beam simply separate beam of length L. of length l and say for an example you are having a load load of w of length small l of length small l so the first load case is uh, in case one you may expected that uh, 
uh, the small L is greater than capital L. What it implies? UDL is UDL is greater than span of beam. Span of beam. So, in the sense, what it implies that if you are having a, a beam like this, the UDL is like this, like this. Here, there's no support. See, like this, like this. This is L. So here, what is the condition? What is the condition here? Small L. Small L is greater than L. The next condition is is two. So small L is less than capital L. UDL is less than span of beam. UDL is less than span of beam. Generally, you may get like this or any at that particular point. So these two kinds of uh, problem or a concept oriented question you may expect in your MCQ question. So first uh, we will move on to the first case. First case. What is the first case? Length of UDL is greater than span. Length of UDL is greater than span. So what are the maximum reaction? Where we, we expect maximum reaction? That's a very, very important thing. First thing, maximum reaction. Maximum reaction. Maximum reaction. So uh, first what I'll do, I will just uh, I will place the UDL on the beam. So if it is L is greater than L, it is just like this. Okay. So now it's RA and RB. So what is the influence line diagram with respect to RA? Just like this. It is one. Okay, and this is capital L. Uh, for UDL, for UDL, uh, how to compute RA for UDL? What is the thing? That is uh, anything. Reaction equals reaction equals load into load into area yeah. under area yeah. under ILD area under ILD. So uh, reaction is W, whatever uh, the loading is W. What is the area under UDL? A area under uh, area under ILD is what? Half into half into base into height. So W into half area is half into base is L. Height is one. So what is area you are getting? W L by two. Similarly, similarly, if you choose like this, if you choose like this. So this is one and this is L, this is RB. Similarly, RB you are getting, RB is W, WL by Yes, any doubts in reactions? Any doubts in maximum reactions? Any doubts? Similarly, uh, let me move on to the second thing. The second one is shear force. Shear force. Shear force. Same beam. See, this is very, very important. Same beam. Same beam. So you are having like this L and small l and this is capital L. So uh, where we expect, uh, what is the standard uh, shear force diagram? What is the standard uh, for simply separated beam? Standard shear force diagram? For a any- by L, B by L. Yes, right? It may be like this. If you consider this as A, B, then A by L, B by L. So this is negative and this is positive. So now one thing is clear, you may expect a negative shear force or positive shear force, right? So if you want maximum shear force, maximum shear force, maximum shear force. So you are getting uh, one negative shear force and one positive shear force. You may get uh, shear force negative, shear force positive. On that case, whatever the positive shear force you are getting, that is a maximum shear force. In some cases, they will ask like maximum negative shear force. Negative shear force. So where you have to place this UDL to get maximum negative shear force? 
where you have to place this UDL? In the left side of the span. Right? If you place like this, it will come over uh, uh, because the length is large, right? So it will come like this. But no matters. So on this case, you are getting negative shear force. What is the negative shear force? Load is W. Load is W multiplied by area. What is area? Half into basis A by L. Uh, height is A. That is breadth is A and height is A by L. A by L. Right. So uh, if you take uh, what is the final value we're getting? W A square by 2. 2 L. Right. W A square by 2 L. This is the maximum negative shear force. If you want maximum positive shear force, maximum positive shear force. So in that case, where you have to place UDL? Maximum positive shear force. You have to place UDL here. So this is W. So W into half into basis B and B by L. So what you are getting? W, W, B square by 2L. Out of these two, this is negative. This is negative and this is positive. Out of these two, which one is maximum? Maximum shear force is? What is maximum shear force? WB square by 2 times of L. 2 times of L. See? See, they may in MCQ, <coughs> they are having choice, open choice to ask maximum negative shear force or maximum positive shear force. If they ask only maximum shear force, the positive value you have to consider. Okay. So any doubts here? Any doubts here? This is the case UDL greater than length span of, of beam. Span of beam. This is very, very important case. Very, very important case. Any doubts here? Shall I move on to bending moment? The next one is bending moment. Third one is, see, they will ask, they will ask in MCQ generally. Bending moment. For bending moment, see, we are having two kind of bending moment. One is with respect to section we have to compute. Another one is absolute bending moment. What is mean by absolute bending moment? What is mean by absolute bending moment? What is mean by absolute bending moment? Maximum bending moment. Maximum bending moment. We have to consider bending moment at the mid -span. Span. span. Then we are termed as absolute bending moment. Okay. Generally, if you consider like this, the beam, the beam, if you are having section C here, section C here. So where you can expect uh, the loading, the loading pattern, if you place a beam, if you place a beam, you are getting like this, right? You are getting like this. So if you compute with respect to this, with respect to section, the bending moment, then you are getting a triangle and this is A and this is B. So this is AB by L. So if they give any position on that position, you take a ordinate and take the area, you are getting the bending moment. Okay, AB by L. Yeah. This is, if you want absolute bending moment, if you, this is normal bending moment at section. This is bending moment at section. So you can calculate this thing. How to calculate bending moment at section? Bending moment at section equals a load multiplied by area under UDL, area under ILD, area under ILD. So W that multiplied by area, that is half into base into height AB by L. So you are getting W AB by uh, 2. Right, this LL get cancels. So this is the bending moment at bending moment at section. This is the bending moment at section. Section bending moment at section. If you want bending absolute bending moment, this is first part. This is bending moment at section. If you want absolute bending moment, this is very very important. Absolute bending moment. If you want absolute bending moment. On that time, you have to take at span L by 2 only. Span at L by 2 only. So, on that case, you are getting a ILD like this. ILD like this. AB by 2 will become L by 2 into L by 2 divided by 2. How much it will become? L by 2 into L square by 
how much you are getting l by 2 by l ab this is ab by 2 now in this case the bending moment at absolute at center will become w into w into area under ild area under ild so w equals c same thing ab by l in the place of ab we have to substitute l by 2 l by 2 so how much we are getting w l w into w into what is the area how much this one l into l by 2 l into l by 2 will become l square by 8 l cube by 16 no 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 this value l square by 8 yes sir right so if you multiplied a, this one area half into basis yeah. l l basis l height is l square by 8 8 now bending moment absolute absolute equals w l cube by 16 See, this is very, very important. Sometime they will ask these two things. They will mention general bending moment at section. On that case, AB by W, AB by 2. If they ask bending moment absolute, WLQ by 16. It's the only different. If they ask absolute, you have to consider at L by 2. L by 2. If they ask at section, you have to take A by AB. You have to take AB. So any doubts uh, in this first case? So in first case, what we discussed, what we discussed in first case, we discussed regarding first case, L greater than L. So the maximum reaction, WL by 2, is the same. Uh, and also we discussed the maximum shear force. In maximum shear force, we are getting maximum positive shear force as well as maximum negative shear force. And also we discussed how to arrive those things. And what is maximum shear force? Out of this, how to be positive value, you have to take it as yeah. maximum shear force. Okay. And also we discussed regarding what is mean by bending moment and how to get bending moment value. Any doubts? Any doubts? Shall I move on to the second case? Case two. Case two. Sir. Yes. Sir, can you explain again how did you get uh, L square by eight? Sir? Yeah. In the bending moment. Yeah, L square by eight. L square by eight. So you you take L L into two, L into two. A B by L. A B by L. This A B by L, but A is value is what? The A value is L by two. What is B value? L by two. You multiply L by 2, L by 2. You are getting L square by 4 divided by 2. It's not 1 by 2 to cancel. It's divided by 2. It will become, it will go to up 4 into 2, 8. Sir, AB by, LL, AB by LL was rather divided by 2. In it, uh, not to AB by L, right? Yes, AB by L. Not to AB by L. So what is the value we are getting here? What is the value? L by 4. So this is, this is AB by L, yes, right, AB by L. So L by L square by 4 divided by L, divided by L. So LL it cancels L by 4 only, L by 4 only, right? So we are getting L by 4, W half into L, base is high. L by 4. How much you are getting here? W L square by 8. See, this is the value we have to get. Why? Because UDL subjected to point load. What is the maximum bending moment? W L square by 8. W L square by 8. Very good. Any doubts? Any doubts? So I, I think here it's not to here W A B way. It's right. It, it is right. No problem. LL get cancelled. 
Here you make small correction. It's not L square by eight. This is L by four. Very good. Clear? Any doubts? Any doubts in shear force? Have we done any wrong thing? No. This is right. No problem because we are considering only AB. If you take L by two, then only the problem. Okay. Clear? Shall we move on to second case? So case two. What is the case two? What is case two? You do lesser than the span. So small l or uh, lesser than s, yes, lesser than capital L. Small l lesser than capital L. So when we are expected to get uh, maximum reaction on this case, when we are expected to get maximum reaction on case, see if it is a simply supported beam, if it is a simply supported beam, simply supported beam. And say for an example, uh, uh, here you are having a section, section C, section C. So in terms, I can say that the UDL may be up to here. I don't know, or it may be UDL may be only up to this point because this is L is less than L. Okay. So on that case, what is the thing? So the thing is very simple. If you want RA RB, so if you want RA, it's a general diagram. This is RA. So one, see here, this is the thing you have to compute this ordinate. Try to compute this ordinate. So this is small L and this is capital L. So, and uh, uh, then uh, what is the uh, distance? So this, the entire distance is L. This is L. So if you take that, this is small L, then this will become L minus L. L minus L. So you can compute this ordinate. Then the reaction will become RA equal load W into W into area under ILT. Area under ILT. So what is the area you have to choose? This particular UDL area comes into picture. This particular UDL idea uh, area you have to consider. In some cases, if you put here, you are getting maximum reaction. Reactions, no matter if they ask reaction, you can compute any other way. You just uh, mark the proper answer. But generally, they will focus on shear force and bending moment. Generally, they will focus on shear force and bending moment. How to get the shear force? How to get maximum shear force and how to get maximum bending moment? That is very, very important point. So if I talking about shear force, if you're talking about shear force, say for an example, here you are having section C. So this is a W. So this is L. This is capital minus small L. So if you want the shear here, if I plot like this, it's a general uh, standard graph. A by L, B by L. So now for this graph, we are getting uh, negative shear force or positive shear force? Negative. Negative. That is very, very important. This is negative and this is positive. So whether which, whatever you want, whether you are, uh, you require positive shear force, then you have to place UDL. Where you have to place UDL? If you require positive shear force, you have to place UDL on right span. On that case, you are getting positive shear force. If you are placing UDL here, you are getting negative shear force. There is nothing uh, much uh, changes. The, ch the thing is, if they ask, if they give a partial UDL, it's not at exactly L by 2. It may have some other distances. So on that case, the thing is very simple. If uh, the, OD, the UDL is only up to here, only up to here, you have to take this ordinates. You have to compute this, you have to compute this and compute this area. Area under UDL. Area under UDL. Uh, area under UDL of IAD. So that is the thing. That's a very, very important thing. This is regarding how to compute uh, maximum negative shear force as well as maximum positive shear force. See, uh, the next question is how to get maximum bending moment this is very very important i will uh, tell you the thing here uh, in even in concentrated load also bending moment is very very important 
generally they will set a question in bending moments bending moments see how to get maximum bending moment any idea how to get maximum bending moment how to get maximum bending moment how to get maximum bending moment take a note generally they will ask this generally they will ask under udl under udl they will give a statement question so i uh, please keep in your mind to get maximum bending moment under udl see if the length of udl uh, is greater than span you have nothing to worry because you are placing entire span udl but in these cases if l less than l this is very very important to get maximum bending moment in the case of in the case in the case udl l less than span l span l d l d section the section section i will consider as c the section c must must divide divide the load divide the load and span and span in same ratio this is very very important to get maximum bending moment in case of udl l less than l the section c must divide the load and span in same ratio what it mean what exactly the meaning of this i will explain in this uh, figure now here try to understand this thing this is very very important and simple concept so simply supported beam see what i will do i will consider section c here this is section c so when you are taking section c the distances this is a and this is b you know that say for an example uh, at the same section i am placing a partial udl like this because our condition is small l less than capital l so i can place the udl like this now the distance from here to here to section here to here there are two distances say for an example if i take this section as x so i know that this udl length the udl length is how much the udl length generally w we consider as small l so what is this l minus small l minus x the remaining distance if i take x so now i am having two ratios one ratio ab with respect to span another ratio x and l minus x with respect to load what the sentence implies to get maximum bending moment in the case of l less than l the section c must divide this is the section this is the section c it must divide both span and udl in the same ratio in the same ratio what it means x divided by l minus x which is equal to a, a by b. b so if you solve x you are getting x so that is the distance to get maximum bending moment you know l you know a you know b so you can determine the x that is the maximum distance to get maximum bending moment under the case of udl this is very very important question generally they will say in this fashion so here bending moment to get maximum bending moment in case of udl is different in case of train of concentrated loads are different you are having two cases at the same time i will take another thing if l greater than l where you can expect maximum bending moment if l greater than l where you can expect maximum bending moment that is absolute bending moment where you can expect absolute center center that's all so this is also expected question i uh, here here where you can expect absolute bending moment where you can expect this is the absolute bending moment yes sir this is the ab absolute bending moment that is the thing you must you must divide a section that is the load and span in the same ratio 
then only you are getting absolute bending moment or maximum bending moment under this kind of situation so i will give a simple question i will give a simple question as a M mcq okay uh, you will try to answer this so it will complete the udl next we can move to uh, point loads that is strain of concentrated point loads say for an example the udl is 2 kN per meter 4 meter span of 10 meter so what is the absolute bending moment what is the absolute bending moment what is the absolute bending moment i will give x x a value as uh, 4 meter 6 meter what is the where what is the uh, where at what distance the question is at what distance what distance maximum or absolute absolute bending moment is expected in the given simply supported beam yes compute the distance i am not asking the maximum bending moment i am asking the distance yes try to find so this problem is related to this concept Yes, how to do this? So I have just explained. So one point six, sir. One point six. Others. So the thing is one point six. One point six. Very good. All are getting same answer. Then no problem. See, yes, I will explain how to solve. So first, you consider the beam. So the beam is having ten meter length, and I'll, next I am going to consider a section X F. The section is having four meter. That is A and B equal. 6 meter. Now you just consider the UDL on the section. You just consider this part as X and this as L minus X. So this is 2 kilonewton per meter. 2 kilonewton per meter. But this L is given. L is 4 meter. L is 4 meter. Now you consider the ratios. How to consider ratio? Ratio you have to consider this ratio. X by L minus x which is equal to a by b x by l minus x x by l minus x x by l minus x the ratio what is the x x equal 6 minus x a by b a is 4 b by 6 so 6x equal 24 minus 4x so 10x equal 24 x equal 2.4 how you told uh, that is 1.6 i think you are confused this is small l so is it capital four minus six. how much sir x by 4 minus x i believe uh sir 2.4 uh, this is 4 right x is not 6 this is 4 4 so on that case sir yellow one day sir you could end the 2.4 account in the 1.6 Okay, oh, I'm telling like that. Very, very good. Okay. One, one end that is 16 minus 4x. So 10x equals 16. X equals 1.6 meter. Very good. Right. See, in MCQ, they may ask this type of question. They want as full uh, beam to solve. They will specifically ask. Okay. So I will give one more problem. Try to solve that problem. This is very, very important concept. Yes. This is the section C. C 
six yes. meters. What is the x value? Where you may expect maximum bending moment? Determine the position. See, they may ask question like this. Determine the position. Position is the distance. Position of absolute BM. Absolute bending moment. Determine the position. Sir, it's 15 and 5 no, sir. 15? Are yes, 15 meter and 5 meter. A okay, is 15 sir. meter. The total span is 20 meter. 6 meters. 6 meters? Yes, sir, six meters. X equals six meters. Okay. I will give the next problem. So you got X equals six meters. Check. If a bare answer bandra here beko, I will solve. Yes, sir. Six sir. So where you may expect four. absolute bending moment position? Four meters. Four meter. Others? With respect to support, yes, I will ask. I will twist a question. In the above problem, I have asked with respect to section. See, that's very, very important. Sometimes they will ask with respect to left to support or with respect to right support. With respect to left support. One point six. One point six. With respect to left to support, where you may expect maximum any moment. We can say directly. Because here the length of UDL is. Oh, sorry. Okay. Ah, this is the other condition. L greater than L. 15 meters. Yes, that's all. 15 meters. At center of the span. There is no calculation. Directly you can write. Uh, sir, can you go to previous problem? Yes. Oh, okay, sir. Fine. Okay. Thank you. Is any doubts in this? This is very, very important. Any doubts? Any doubts? It's the last question. Position of absolute bending moment. Fine. Position of absolute bending moment with respect to right support B. B A. Yes, what is the answer?
6 meters from b 6 meters from b from b so the span is 40 meters Others eight minus x. A is ten meter, thirty meter. So x by eight minus x, ten by thirty. So three x, eight minus x, four x, eight. X equal. Two meter. So this is six meter. Six meter. So if this is six meter, if this length is six meter, what is with respect to uh, this support? So this is six meter. Is uh, this is two meter? So this is if I ask like this here also that is uh, thirty meters only with respect to section. With respect to section, under it, only there are only the support here, the maximum, only movie to. Other than that, no variations are there. But with respect to not support B, with respect to right side or left side, with respect to right span of UDL, right span of UDL or left span. With respect to this is with respect to left span. With respect to right span. If yes, someone told, I think answer six meters. Right. Very good. Others have you got the same answers? Have you got the same answers? Yes, sir. Okay. So yes, sir. I will move on to the next topic. That is uh, train of moving loads. Second load case. Second load case. This is very very important. This is also very very important. train of concentrated loads point moving loads so generally uh, in previous case we just considered udl But in this case, they are going to consider a train of concentrated loads. It's the best example for your uh, bridge girder. So some vehicle, loaded vehicle, loaded truck is moving on your uh, whatever steel bridge or girders. So these are all best examples. Moving loads, moving loads. W one, W two, W three, W four. Say with the distance, proper fixed distances. They will give the distances. They will provide the distances. Say it may be x one, x two, x three, or in any direction. If you are considering w one, w two, w three like this, then this is x one, x two, x three distances. So this is right exterior end. So this is called head. And this is called tail. So I am saying that the moving load is in this direction. So head is moving. So this is tail. So now, if I consider the beam length, so this is a beam AB. AB. So here, uh, this is very very important. So generally, uh, uh, the concept of centroid comes into very very important picture. The thing is, you have to compute the x bar, the distance where and exactly the CG will matches with this load. For this thing, uh, the mainly the MCK question they may ask like, uh, how to how to match how to match the whatever moving load, moving load with girder span or with the uh, bridge span. Uh, so by taking centroid of the moving loads, how to consider this is the centroid. Say 
I'm considering this is the centroid, centroid X bar. So how to compute that X bar? So you have to take the moment with respect to uh, the end point, with respect to end, whatever, W4 is the end here. If it is W5, then you have to take the moment with respect to W5. So here W4, you have to take the moment. So X bar is nothing but W1 into, W1 into uh, the distance. What is the distance? up to here or you can you know the general equation of centroid x bar equal uh, that is uh, w w1 w1 into w, here if you take moment here w3 into x3 w3 into x3 plus w2 into what is the moment x2 plus x3 plus w1 into plus x3 divided by total loads w4 so this is the distance you are getting the x bar distance so uh, generally they will ask like uh, how to match the centroid of this so this you are exactly you are matching with your section whatever here in previous case what we did in previous case, we did like uh, we have taken the ratio, but in this case, we are not taking ratio that is for maximum moment, but this is for some train of concentrated load we are placing to match the centroids, match the centroids of beam as well as moving loads. So if they ask generally, they will like in MCQ centroid moment of inertia, which one you have to match. So on that case, you have to pick only centroid is the option, centroid is the option. So they won't ask these, uh, yeah, whatever the equations and uh, they won't ask the, by compute X, the centroid and all. They won't ask. Okay. So the only sentence you have to remind, remember in the uh, moving load is centroid with respect to CG of moving loads. CG of moving loads. We will go into match with span. So next important thing is uh, here also we are going to study three aspects. One is reaction, another one is uh, shear and another one is moment so first we will go to reaction so if this is a train of concentrated load one two three four i'll say one two three four so this is head this is moving like this so this is the span a b a b when we are expected to get maximum reaction when we are get expected to get maximum reaction when what is the case so if you place like this one two three four see this is the support see if you move allow to move it will become so full full uh, whatever the rolling loads on the beam so what is the reaction one so this is l l may uh, they may give something value so this is okay four into one next three into this ordinate plus two into ordinate plus one into ordinate will give you a ra value any doubts so if you know this one you know this length, you know this length, L minus whatever distance, distance they will give two meter, two meter, they are fixed distance, two meter, one meter, one meter, they'll give two meter, one meter, one meter. So if you remove, <coughs> if the span of length is six meter, in six meter, you remove two meter, it will remain four meter. So you can easily compute the ordinate, you know how to compute ordinate. Finally, RA equals whatever the load into ordinate, that is four into ordinate plus three into ordinate, 4 into 1 is the ordinate, 3 you have to compute, 2 into ordinate plus 1 into ordinate. So finally you are getting the RA value. Similarly, if you want for RB, if you want for RB, you allow the load in the same direction, here it will, 1 will come, here 2, here 3, here 4. Now plot the standard 
influence line diagram. This is one. Now you know this length. Similar fashion, you just compute RB. RB that is one into one plus two into ordinate plus three into ordinate plus four into ordinate. This is not one to three four in each case. This is the load. It may be twenty kilonewton, thirty kilonewton, forty kilonewton like that. This may be a load. For and here also they will mention a distance. The same distance it will carry over here. So you have to compute the ordinate. This is one you know that. So you have to compute this ordinate. You have to compute this ordinate. You have to compute this ordinate. Finally, these are all ordinates because it's a point load in UDL area. In UDL area. In case of point load, that is ordinate. Any doubts in the reaction? Reaction is very simple because it's only one. The ordinate is one. So, but in case of shear force. Shear force and bending moment, especially bending moment, is very very important. Shear force in shear force, you know that this is the beam. So if train of concentrated load, say I will consider only three loads. One, two, three loads, or W one, W two, W three weights. Okay, and this is the length. They will give the length also. This and this. It may be two meter, three meter like this. The span may be eight meter, eight meter. And they sometimes they will give the section also. They will give the section x x section at section at. So span I'll take eighteen meter. The section at nine meter, nine meter. Section at nine meter. See if I am asking to compute maximum. Shear force, maximum negative shear force. Compute maximum negative shear force. Yes, any idea? Because we solved so many problems. Any idea here? And also, I will give the load values. Say two kilonewton, eight kilonewton, four kilonewton. So the value it will move in this direction. So this is head is moving. It followed by tail four kilometer. See, there is very simple uh, problem. The first thing is for with respect to section, you write the the standard chart. What is the standard chart for SFD? What is the standard chart for SFD? That is A by L line. A by L and B by L. How much? A by L. A is nine by eighteen. How much? One by two. B by L. Same. One huh? by two. Yes, sir. Uh, one by two. So I will. Uh, shall I change the value? Because if we get same, uh, no use. So I will changing uh, this into six meter. Six meter now. Six meter and I will change the span also thirty six meter. Now, it will. Six by thirty-six, one by six, and uh, remaining this will thirty by thirty-six. How much? Thirty by thirty-six. Five by six. Five by six. Okay, this is good. Five by six. Okay. Now to get maximum shear force, to get maximum shear force. See, this is the problem. When they are giving like this, we have to check by trial and error method. We have to check by trial and error method. How to check trial and error method? I will explain. First, you are try where you may expect the maximum uh, shear force at section. He is asking at section. On that case, in first case, what you have to do? You just try to move this load on the member, on the member, on the member. Like first, you are allowing this. So what happens? What happens? The thing is, the first load will come to here. So it is two kilonewton. And the next load is come to here. This is eight kilonewton, and the next load is come to here, come to here, and the value is four kilonewton. And this is six meter. The distances are three meter and two meter. Be careful. Sometimes the load may out of the support. Nothing to worry. You neglect that load. You neglect that load. No problem. Sometimes what happens? They will give four meter. If I give four meter, what happens? This six meter. 
3 plus 4 7 it will out of the support which one 4 kN you ignore nothing to worry you ignore this consider only 8 and 2 consider only 8 and 2 now compute try to compute this ordinate what is this ordinate and try to compute this ordinate what is this ordinate and this ordinate see this total is 6 meter total is 6 meter so uh, what what about this value what uh, to, to compute this ordinate you require you require you require this length what is this length this is 3 meter 6 minus 3 3 meter so you are getting 6 by 1 by 6 and you take y1 y1 by 3 not 3 by y1 right proportionally we have to take first i have to take a 6 so that's why here also i have to take 3 and y1 what is y1 6 y1 and to 1 by c uh, that is 1, 1 by 6 into 3 that is 1 by 2 how much y1 equal i think what is the value of y1 1 by 12 what is 1 by yes, 12 sir. how much 1 by 12 so you can take 1 by 12 directly no, nothing to worry this is 1 by 12 similarly compute what is this value what is this value so this uh, distance we require this distance required out of 6 you remove 5 so 1 meter 1 by 36 so 1 by 36 okay so 6 by 1 by 6 1 by y2 so y2 is y2 is y2 is 1 by 36 so 1 by 36 so shear force shear force shear force at xx equals 2 multiplied by ordinate 1 by 6 plus 8 is the load multiplied by ordinate what is the ordinate 1 by 12 plus so this is negative shear force nothing to worry plus 4 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 1 by 36 how much you are getting 10 by 9 10 by 9 tell me the value 10 by 9 1 point One point ten by nine. One point one 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 one. Hi. Okay. One point one two kilo newton. This is the negative shear force. First you got, but you don't stop and you don't consider this. This is the maximum negative shear force. What you have to do? You have to allow to move further to cross the support. You have to allow this load to cross the support. So if you allow this load to cross the support, what happens? Two kilo newton will come here. 2 kN will come here. So this is 3 meter. 8 kN will come on the section and remaining 4 come on the other point. 2 meter. Okay. Now once again you have to draw a influence line diagram. Okay, here you are having 2 kilo newton. Here you are having 8 kilo newton. This is same. This is uh, you have already computed. This is 5 by 6 and this is 1 by 6. Here you are having one load, 4 kilo newton. So how much this thing and this thing you have to compute compute this first if you compute this one you are you know that this what is this entire line how much 30 30 right so uh, the ordinate 5 by 6 so 30 by 5 by 6 which is equal to y1 by <coughs> our distance i will consider first here if you remove uh, in uh, 30 if you remove 3 so what is the distance will remain here, here to here? 27. 27 by y1. What is y1? Compute y1. It's 2 by 9, sir. 2 by 9. 
Yes, wait, wait. Here it is in the maximum negative shear force, right? Yes, sir. It is not positive value you have to consider. Yeah, we have to only because consider. Because we have to it. analyze in maximum negative region only. Okay. So when you are considering only negative region, so on that case, what happens? See, first, this is the case is okay. So uh, when you are you are trying to move on this load, what happens? First thing is, this is the section. So the beam here you are having support. If you allow this load on the thing, so here it will come. First load that is two kilo newton. The second load is eight kilo newton. So here one more load is out of the thing, four kilo newton. So if you allow this, this is three meter. So this is not required. So as per the your loading diagram, it's like this, like this. So only this is enough. So this is, you know that one by six. What is this compute? So this is three meter. This is, uh, this is uh, three meter. This is three meter. So you are getting uh, how much? This is one by 12. So compute here, there is no loading. So you are not getting anything. Shear force at XX. You are having the uh, thing is two into one by 12. So how much you are getting? Two into one by 12. Here you are having zero ordinate. Only two into one by twelve. How much? One by six. So if you are getting lesser value, generally this is the maximum shear you are getting. So in when they are asking maximum shear, you can directly place on the section. You are getting maximum value because if you allow on, you have to move the load on only negative part of the your whatever the diagram. Similarly, if you want maximum positive shear force, what do you have to do? Similarly, if you want maximum positive shear force, what do you have to do? Maximum. See, it's not I'm asking shear force, maximum. So you have to allow this load in this way, full. If you allow this load, where it will move? That is very, very important thing. See, this is the section, right? From section, it will move to how many distance? Five meter. So for five meter, you have to take one load, two load, and or maximum shear force at the section. Yes, right, at the section. You hear one load on the section will come. That particular load is, we have the direction is like this. Therefore, this is four kilonewton. And next, load is 8 kilo newton and the next load is 2 kilo newton it's moving i have allowed up to positive up to positive phase the positive ild is like this this is the positive ild so you know this height this height is b by l 5 by 6 compute this height and compute this another height see the total length is 30 meter 30 meter this length is 30 meter so 5 by 6 if, uh, divided by 30, 5 by 6 divided by 30, which is equal to, which is equal to, this is y1, y1, y1 by, uh, see this length, how much, 4 to 8 distance is 2 meter, this is 3 meter, in uh, 30, if you remove 2, the remaining here to here is 28, so compute y1. Compute Y1. Similarly, compute Y2. Y2. In positive, this is on positive. This is on positive. Yes, how to compute Y2? How to compute Y2? Hey, Martira, Y2. Y2 is computed using same thing, 5 by 6 by 30 which is equal to y2 divided by see the distance y2 in the so 25 so complete y2 complete y1 what is the value of y1 and what is the value of y2 so finally you are getting the answer like shear force positive shear force at xx equal 4 into this value 1 5 by 6 Plus 
8 into whatever the value of y1 plus 2 into whatever the value of y2. That's all. Any doubts in maximum positive shear force? You are allowing. If we ask you to compute maximum negative shear force, you allow on the section, the head. Next, if you have the same problem, in the same problem, he is asking the positive shear force if you allow up to the tail wheel on the section. You allow that particular load to move on the beam. Furthermore, or whatever, the tail will come on the section. Any doubts? So generally, this is the concept they will ask, uh, the like uh, compute maximum shear force. And generally, the maximum shear force is the positive one. Okay. And uh, the bending moment is very, very important. Bending moment, say now I only I told uh, some concept in the shear force. We are allowed to move the section. So you have to check that. I will explain. Uh, so definite sure question on moving loads, bending moment. Sure question, one, one sure question on moving load, bending moment, concentrated train of load on bending moment. So this is, these are all the things generally they won't, they won't ask, they will ask on bending moment. Okay. Because this is the tedious process sometimes to compute and all. So generally they will ask bending moment. This is very, very important. Please be noted regarding bending moment. This is very, very important. Bending moment, especially where we have to get uh, the maximum bending moment that, that is very very important thing where we when we are expected to get maximum bending moment Train of concentrated load. Uh, I will consider one example to explain this. I am considering five uh, point loads W1, W2. W3, W4, W5. Uh, the spacing, the spacing, maybe X1, X2, X3, X4. X4. So they will give like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, or 200, 400, whatever the loading, 2 meter, 3 meter, 4 meter, 5 meter, like that they will give. And here I will give one whatever the span. So this is the total length L. On the span, I will give one section. XX. So I will take this as AB. And I will name it as C. I will name it as C. I will name it as C. So I am getting two portion. One is left, left of the section. Another one is right of the section, left portion of the section and right portion of the section. So for getting maximum bending moment, for getting maximum bending moment on the beam, on the beam, please keep in your mind, we are, we have to move this load in this direction, <coughs> in this direction to cross the section. So first, which, which load will cross us? W1. On the time of crossing the W1, remaining beams all are in left of the section. Only W1 is on right of the section. Okay. So what happens? The thing is, if you write the if you write the bending moment diagram with respect to section, with respect to section, what is the shape of bending moment diagram? Triangle. What is the this is A length and this is B length. So this is AB by L. You know that this is AB by L. Now, if I allow to move, so what happens? W1 will come to this position. So here, W2 will come. Here, W3, W4, 
W5. First case, I will allow this like this. For W5. See, keep in mind the thing is, I will try to give as in table forum, in table forum. Okay. Try to remember this table. Or you can, if you're understanding the concept, nothing to worry about this particular part. So average load on left side of section. Average load on right side of section. I will call it as this is WR right side. This is average WL and remarks. Remarks, remarks. Okay. So if I do the trial one, I will write two trials. Trial one. See what is the average load on left side in this diagram? What is the average load in here in this diagram? That is include W2 on left side, W2 plus W3 plus W4 plus W5 divided by whatever the length that is A. Similarly here, W1 divided by B. Generally what happens here, if I give the values, say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, so left side uh, average will more. So in this case, I'm expected to get W left side value uh, is lesser. Karme Bartade, W1 is more, right? One, uh, you say 10, 10 divided by 30. So you are getting lesser value. But here, if you do all the sum divided by A, you are getting WL greater than WR. You may get it. So in next, what I will do, I will allow this load to furthermore here. So here W1 will come, here W2 will come. On section, which load will come? W3. Left remaining loads are, this is the section now. Remaining loads are W4 and W5. What happens in the average in trial 2 now? What happens? This will become W5 plus W4 plus W3 divided by A and this will become W2 plus W1 by B. So uh, in this case also you got WL greater than WR. No use. Next you have to move one more trial. Then what happens if you move this W3 on right side? It will become what uh, the equation will become what in trial three? Equal. W5 plus W4 by A. Here, W3 plus W2 plus W1 by B. It may be, it may be WL less than or equal to WR. This is the condition. It may be less than or equal to WR. If you are getting this condition, and at that particular load condition, you are getting maximum bending moment. At this particular load condition, you are getting maximum bending moment. See, in this time, uh, you are getting a, a little bit idea. But if I give the values, you are getting the full idea. Okay. Sh shall we move on to the, uh, shall I give some values and we will verify where exact position we are getting maximum bending moment. Train of concentrated load. I will give a few examples.
see what i will do i will give simple problem try to understand this concept this is very very important concept 30 kilo newton 20 kilo newton 80 kilo newton Ten kilonewton, two meter, two meter, one meter. In between, it is a fixed spacing, and this is the given beam of twenty meters AB, and also. i am giving the section x at 8 meters <clears throat> 8 meters 8 meter now as per our concept as per our concept what is the first step i have to allow the train of concentrated load to move on the span so such a way that in first position the first load will come to this position 30 kilo newton second load will come to this position That is twenty kilo newton. The third load will come to this position eighty, and another one load will come to this position ten. Okay. Now left side. This is left side, and this is right side. Uh, and this is eight meter, and this is value is twelve meter. Right. If the entire span is twenty meter, so this is A, and this is B. Now uh, you take left side. and right side so in trial 1 in trial 1 what are the average load of left side that is 10 plus 80 plus 20 divided by a 8 how much compute right side you are having 30 divided by 12 how much what is the value again Hundred and ten by eight. Thirty. Thirteen point seven five. Thirteen point seven five. Here. Two point five. Two point five. What is the remark? Yeah, least greater than. Greater than W R. L is greater than R, so no okay. use. We have to cross next term. Next portion, what I am doing? I am crossing this twenty. If I am crossing this twenty, here only ten plus eighty by eight. Here twenty plus thirty divided by twelve. So ninety by eight. How much? Eleven point two five. Eleven point two five. So fifty by twelve. Four point one six. Four point one six. Here also L greater than R. I have to allow to move one more position now. If I allow to move one more position, it will become ten by eight. It will become eighty plus twenty plus thirty by twelve. It will become one point two five. What is the value here? Ten point eight. So L is greater than R. Now it is saying it changes. So the thing is, the question how they will ask. So which is the point load you have to put on a section to get maximum bending moment? Which is the concentrated load you have to place on the section? Sir, L is less than R. Ah oh, yes, less than R. Less than R. Right. now the sign is changes it's greater and this is less now which is the load is rare is the responsible if you put on the section you are getting maximum moment A so B here B. in this position you are getting maximum moment the position is the position is 10 kilo 10 right that is on the section you have to put 10 kilo newton then here 
80 will come here 20 will come here 30 will come see this is the position this one so they will ask like this type of question which load you have to put on the section to get maximum bending moment so 10 kilo newton this is very very important 10 kilo newton okay now i'll give one more example please try to solve this 200 kilo newton 150 kilo newton Twenty five kilo newton, three meter, two meter. I will give the span of beam twenty meter. I will give a section x x eight meter. So this is A. This is enough. A B. Yes. So other uh, my question is to get to get maximum bending moment which concentrated load load must be must be placed on the section placed on the section so i am giving that in this direction Yes, the answers. All load should be right side, sir. Then which is the load is responsible? You have to put on section. See, if you take uh, 25, so it will, it is not possible. 25 divided by 20, uh, 25 divided by 12, and uh, 350 is not thing so you have to check this 200 by uh, 200 by 8 how much you check and next uh, 175 by uh, 12 how much you check if it is not possible then you have to allow all the loads is it possible if any load is responsible it is this the last case you have to check 200 how much you are getting same is less it's lesser so yes sir so uh, the question is wrong they may give none of this none of this or what they will do they will give one more load one more load of uh, say 100 kilo newton now You have to check from beginning. So this is 125. You just take this as 125. Now you check. Because when we give 25 to 100, it's a lot of variation. They won't give like that. Yes, now please check. So this is say for an example of one meter. So you directly you can check 150 plus 125, 100 plus 200. You check that case directly. 300. 300 by 8, you check this case. Which case? This particular case. 100 kilo newton and you put section 200 on this and another 150 kilo newton and 125 kilo newton. Now check this. 300 by 8, <coughs> 125 
275 by 12. For first case, a 125 by uh, 12 and remaining sum divided by 8, you are getting like more. In this case, you have to get less. Check left and right remarks. In first left case, 100, 100 less kilometer. 100, 100 less 200 less 150 divided by 8. So 125 by 12. So which one left is more or right or right is more? Check here. Left. 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 Left is greater than R. Next. 100 plus 200 by 8. 150 plus 125 by 12. In this case. Left. Left. Once again left. Now. 100 by 8. 150 plus 125 plus 200 by 12. Right is greater. Right is greater. Then the end. So, which is the load you are responsible? If you put 100 kilonewton on section in this fashion, 100 kilonewton, next it's followed by 200, 150, 125. You are getting maximum bending moment. Clear any doubts in this concept? This is very, very important. Let me move on to the remaining MCQ. So generally they will ask this question. So I will let me, let me see here. So you are able to solve these questions or not. Yes, a number of V loads, a number of V loads, three tons, four ton, five ton and six ton are spaced. So these are spaced. So three ton, four ton, five ton, six ton are spaced two meter, two meter, three meter, three meter. Okay. Uh, respectively on simply supported beam, on simply supported beam, on simply supported beam of span 24 meter, of span 24 meter. The three ton is low leading. See. This is very, very important. The three ton is leading. So now what happens? If three ton is leading, so it come first. So I have to change the pattern like this. I have to take like this then. Three ton, four ton, five ton, six ton. Three, four, five, six, right? So this is leading. This is leading. And it, these are the follows. Okay. And spacings are like this spacings are two meter three meter three meter okay and three ton is leading and the beam is moving left to right see left to right it is moving left to right right uh find the maximum bending moment at eight meter from a see is given section eight meter this is a b eight meter uh, load what must be placed on the section so on this section to get maximum bending moment which load you have to put <coughs> yes try to give the answer so this total is 24 8 so the a is 8 what is the value of b b will become 16 yes first uh, 3 kill 3 turn on the shift mode so 3 by 16, 6 plus 5 plus 4 divided by 8. So yawa ga change agate nodi. So aga yaw do value idr mele barbek hai. Section mele. Sixty. Sixty. Others? 
All are getting same answer. If you move three, no use. Four plus three, seven by sixteen. Eleven by eight, sixty. That's all. In six, you are getting. Uh, I think R is L equal R. Ah, you are getting the status L equal R. Yes, sir. Yes. Point seven. Yes, sixty. All of you got the same thing. So this sixty must come on the section like this. So here sixty, then five t, then four t, and then three t. This is the maximum condition. See these kind of problems you may expect. Any doubts? All of you got the same answer. Okay, try to solve next question. Sir, on five minutes break. Put. Put the name. I tell you, in your pro, in your video, I made you put the name. Yes. Three wheel loads, ten, twenty six, twenty four. Space spacing in. Tell me, kids, come on. Spacing who will do putting some bond on it? No. Yes, sometimes in that day, kids who load for a good day will put it. That is spacing. Come on, the section in that. Yes, 10-10 leading up, girder 20 meters off. So which is the responsible? Ten ten leading up touch na, 20, 20, 60, 20-40 beam work only. Beam and section important to. So total the beam length to. 20 meter ra, so 8 meter ra kote ra dono. Ha, pass maadi. Ye 8 andre 12 meter ra. Ha, which one cross agate? 10 by 12, uh, 24, 26 by 8. Aga dar. Next cross maadi abo bata. Aba ngodi out bar tae ta. Equal or wrong? Both or change or wrong? Someone put a message that C. All of you got C? Yes, sir. C correct. C. So twenty-four kilonewton. Ah, uh, twenty-four ton. Twenty-four ton. You must place it on the section. That's all. On to the last question. Yes. Now five concentrated loads. Forty. One twenty, hundred sixty. See one paka question on moving loads. Forty, one twenty, hundred sixty, and eighty. And forty meter uh, leading. Which one is leading? Forty kilometer is leading. So you take like this. Forty, one twenty, hundred. Sixty and eighty. So the beam is simply supported a forty meter, and you are having section at fifteen meter. So A equals fifteen, B equals twenty-five. Check. Allow this uh, leading is forty, right? Allow forty out. Next one twenty plus forty. Similarly, check which one is. At section C, similar problems. Yes, which one? So someone the answer C B. Which one, Kishan? C or B? 
बीस और बी बीस और बी बी ऑप्शन बी ऑप्शन बी सो हंड्रेड के लिए नोटनट सी यस सर ओके सो सो दिस आर द थिंग्स एनफ विद रिस्पेक्ट टू इन्फ्लुएंस लाइन सो इन द नेक्स्ट यू टेक फाइव मिनट्स ब्रेक नेक्स्ट वी स्टार्ट विद आर्चर्स एंड एमसीक्यू क्वेश्चन Take five minutes break. Exactly, we will start at seven uh, forty-five. We start at seven forty-five. Archers. It's last topic. Last topic. Archers. So in this uh, uh, particular section, the last uh, part is three hundred archers. basically they will concentrate more and more on theoretical aspects so in ild you are having only three standard diagrams you have to remember those diagram associated numericals uh, you are not uh, getting the questions generally they will ask uh, what are the three hinged arches whether it is statically determinate or statically indeterminate how to compute uh, thrust how to compute radial shear how to compute uh, reactions so a general uh, mcq you may expect in this particular last part you may expect when the one question only one question from this part more than one question uh, generally they won't ask in this particular content so generally these are uh, geometrically unchangeable statically determinate structures these are statically determinate structures see they will ask like uh, the question whether uh, the three hinged arch is a determinate structure or indeterminate structure it's very very important thing three hinged arch is a determinate structure while two hinged arch is a indeterminate structure determinate uh, three hinged arch is a determinate structure so uh, it's very very important point please be note three hinged arch is a determinate structure it's very simple case when we are coming to arches here you are getting two reactions two reactions here you are having one imposed condition one imposed condition generally total external reactions are four you know that equilibrium is 3 so the general uh, static indeterminacy equals number of external reactions minus equilibrium equations plus imposed condition imposed condition so 4 minus 4 will become 0 hence the three hinged arch is a determinate structure determinate structure See, these are the examples. This is two hinged arch. This is an indeterminate structure. So, three hinged arch is a determinate structure. Fixed arch is an indeterminate structure. Generally, how many reactions will develop in three hinged arch? Two external support reactions and one imposed condition. So, these are the things we just discussed now. See, this is very very important. Sometimes they will ask if the what is the temperature effect. because of temperature effect what happens the the arch crown will shift the crown will shift this is very very important thing the, the crown will shift so while there is no stresses this is very very important because of temperature change there are no stresses produced please keep in mind there is no effect of temperature but the only thing is the only thing is the rise of the arch is altered this this generally they will ask generally they will ask what is the temperature effect on the arch the stresses will change the the rise of the arch will alter or there is a horizontal thrust will change like that they will ask so on that case this is very very important thing rise of the arch will alter and also there is a decrease in horizontal thrust what happens generally the rise will become more the horizontal thrust means this is a horizontal reaction hinges this h is horizontal thrust this will become less so because of due to temperature effect the horizontal thrust will decrease this is also very very important point due to due to temperature variation the horizontal thrust will decrease the horizontal thrust will decrease the rise of the arch will increase the rise of the arch will rises the whatever the crown this crown part will rises the horizontal thrust will decrease this is very very important the influence of horizontal thrust in three hinged arches so you have to plot a influence line for horizontal thrust see this is a horizontal thrust reaction so vertical reaction so this is vertical reaction so horizontal reaction so this h 
what is the effect of this H when we have to write a influence line diagram. This is very, very important thing. So we have to take a section X. We have to take a section X. On that case, you are getting a VB value as X by L, X by L. And here VA value as L minus X by L. VA, VB. We just computed the reactions because of this unique load. And we are considering the section X from the left end. So on that case, you are getting VA and VB. Now, what is the all, uh, influence line diagram? So you may expect influence line diagram for horizontal thrust is just like a triangle and the height is L by 4, L by 4 H. H is rise, where H is rise, where H is rise. Please try to uh, keep and remember this particular pattern as well as the ordinate value. The ordinate value is total L by 4 H, where H is the rise. This is due to influence of horizontal thrust. This is due to influence of horizontal thrust. This is very, very important and very, very simple uh, influence line diagram. So this is because of bending moment. Once you know horizontal thrust, the next is bending moment. In bending moment, there are two things. You may expect bending moment due to horizontal thrust. You may expect bending moment due to whatever the force, whatever the unit load, whatever the unit load. So the first thing is, this is because of IAD for bending moment at D. So IAD, this is general bending moment at particular point D. You are getting like, that is if it is A, A into L minus A by L. Here also you are getting positive influence line. So the ordinate height, the ordinate height, this height is A into A into L minus A, L, small L. See, this is X and this is L. So L minus A, this is the A distance by L. So, but at the same time, you are getting, this is for moment. See, why in previous case, L by 4H, that multiplied by whatever B height. See, where B is the, this height of the arch. Generally, if it is a parabolic arch, the B value is generally given by 4HX into L minus X divided by L square. This is the parabola, height of parabola. How to determine the equation? This generally they will uh, ask in MCQ. 4HX by L square into L minus X. You have to remember this equation here. Instead of Y, you have to take B. B. B equals, in this case, B equals, B equals 4H, X is not X, A. 4H, A by L square into L minus A. In this case, the B value is this 4H, A by L square into L minus A. These two things are bending moment diagram. The thing is, this is triangles, but this ordinate due to uh, general bending moment is the ordinate A into L minus A by L for uh, horizontal moment, that is L by 4H into B, L by 4H into B. What I do now, I will impose both the whatever uh, influence line in one diagram here. See, this is the uh, IAD for BMD. So here, what we, we are doing just this IAD for D. A minus L minus A by L. And this is ILD for horizontal thrust. That is L by 4H into B. So sometimes they will ask in MCQ, what is the uh, bending moment diagram for uh, three inch arch? So they may give individually bending moment diagram due to uh, section at D. This is uh, due to horizontal thrust, horizontal moment, this H. H into B due to horizontal moment. This H into B, H is L by 4H into B. It's a moment, H into moment. And, they, and sometimes they may give both together. They will give some values, different, different values. And they will alter the sign. On that case, you have to be careful. This is very, very important. This is very, very important. So next, maximum positive and negative bending moment in 3 inch arch. See, this is positive bending moment. Try to understand, uh, try to remember. It's not understanding level. Remember where you may expect maximum bending moment in the three inch arch. Maximum positive bending moment is expected at 0.211 L meters. They will ask when you are getting maximum bending moment in three inch arch at a distance of 0.211 times the L. And what is the value? This is also expected. 0 0.096 WL. This is positive. Similarly, if you want negative, 
see this is negative l by 4 at l by 4 you are getting maximum negative moment and the value is wl by 16 and the value is negative moment value is wl by 16 these two things try to remember these two values try to remember maximum positive bending moment in 300 arch you are having only 300 arches and also what is the maximum negative moment in 300 arches because of inch the moment will become zero we, we discussed a lot of mcq with respect to this this is the ild diagram see at at hinge it, it will come to zero okay so these are the very very important two key points please take a note the maximum positive bending moment is 0 0.096 wl and what is the ordinate distance what is the abscess or distance the ordinate you are representing value of load the ordinate the abscess are represents the distance the x distance is 0 0.211 times the l at uh, post negative bending moment this is l by 4 at a distance of l by 4 you may expect wl by 16 that is the maximum moment and what is the internal forces see generally when you are doing internal forces the internal forces means there are two internal forces one is normal thrust and another one is radial shear one is normal thrust and radial shear normal thrust see if you observe here on the axis of the arch you are getting nx that is normal thrust perpendicular that you are getting rx that is radial shear so uh, if you are having a standard equation so the equation is given by you just try to remember rx equal b cos theta minus h sin theta this is radial shear where rx is radial shear try to in, uh, take the note rx is radial shear v cos theta minus h sin theta this is the theta this inclination generally they will give in a problem or sometimes what happens you know that y equal 4 hx into l minus x divided by l square if you do dy by dx so if you differentiate this term you are getting tan theta so you're getting theta value here this is the theta value theta equal tan inverse of dy by dx at, at what distance sometimes they will ask x equal 8 meter you have to put 8 meters and compute theta and you are getting shear where v is shear and h is horizontal reaction you are getting here horizontal reaction and v at specific section what is the v value sigma v equals 0 you have to do and compute v value so generally the radial shear equation is v cos theta minus h sin theta and this is normal thrust equation normal thrust just v sin theta plus h cos theta See, generally in MCQ, they will ask, what is the radial shear equation? So, they will give all sin theta, cos theta, plus, minus, and all. So, you have to identify proper equation. Please keep in your mind, radial shear is V cos theta minus H sin theta, and normal thrust is V sin theta plus H cos theta. How to determine theta? Using parabola. If it is parabolic arch, you have to use 4HX into L minus X by L square. You have to differentiate that equation. The first rate of change is nothing but slope tan theta. You are getting theta value. You are getting theta value. So this is very, very important. These two equations. Next, let me move on to the, these are the concepts only you are having for your syllabi. Let me move on to the MCQ questions. Uh, we will go one by one. Okay. Yes, it's a very simple question. What is the topmost portion of the three-inch arch? Crown. Yes, crown. Because so two hinges, this part is crown. Right? It's very simple. Next, which of the following is true in case of stone brick? Stone brick arch. Which of the following is true? This kind of arches. Which one? They are weak in compression and tension. They are good in compression and tension. Option D. Option, Option D. D, sir. Option D. Option D. Option yes. D. Very good, Kiran. Option D is right. They are very good in compression but weak in tension. Stone. Masonry. This is masonry type of arch. Masonry is very strong in. This is masonry. In stone masonry. Masonry is very strong in compression but weak in tension. So it may be stone masonry or it may be clay brick masonry arch. 
Yeah, all type of masonry arches are very strong in compression, but very weak in tension. tension. Yes. What is the shape of three-inched arch? What is the shape of three-inched arch? Parabolic. Option D. See, Option D. Both. Generally, what they will do? Generally, you know that everyone will tell that parabolic. See, you are even you are having circular arches also. Even some in MCQ questions, they are given as parabolic. The answer is given as parabolic, but it may be parabolic or it may be circular. Both are possible in three-inched arches. Yes. Don't go with parabolic. If your circular is not given, is same give say is giving some ellipse or some other cases, then parabolic is right. <sighs> parabolic is a generally we will prefer. In few exceptional cases, we are preferring circular also. That's why he is ask, asking a general general question. So it may be parabolic or it may be circular. Here, what is the fourth? Internal internal bending moment generated in three-inch arch. This. What is the moment when generated at supports? Zero. Yes. Zero hinges. Zero. Yes, right. Zero. Zero is right. At hinges, you know that, right? The moment yes. is zero. This is a direct question. Yes. It's always zero. Don't uh, go to other infinite or other values. Okay. Yes, here. What is the shear? Sir, D, sir. Non zero, but remain constant. Others? See, please keep in your mind if you are asking internal, internal shear as well as uh, internal shear as well as bending moment is always zero yeah. in three inch arch. Please keep in your mind. Both internal BM as well as shear force, both are zero in arches, in arches, especially in three inch arches. Internal shear, external is possible. I am not talking about external. Internal shear is zero. External shear and rain and new reaction, no load, all material, all shear birthday. That is your normal thrust. Right. But internal shear is zero. Yes, what is the degree of intensity of fixed arch? Three, sir. Three, because external support reaction is six. Six. Available equilibrium equation is three. three. Six minus three. 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 Right. Yes. In real life, bending stress or zero in three inched arch. The statement whether the above statement is true or false. Yes. Please false. guess whether false. true or false. 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 Why? See, I am talking about bending stresses, not bending moment. See, in real life, especially, it's not an whatever. Generally, if you practicality, if I'm talking about practicality. If it is subjected to load, then obviously bending stresses will occur in the arch stresses. Because of force, there is a bending reaction. It's having distance and all. So the statement is false. Don't go by true because bending moment is zero, which implies that it is not bending stress is zero. I have told that internal bending moment is zero. There is external is possible. In real life, we are dealing with external forces comes into picture on that case obviously there may there is a there will be a bending stress clear yes what is the equation for parabolic arch option d sir d sir option four. d four yes y equal four hx by l square into l minus, l minus x it's very very important thing you have to remember any doubts? Okay. Yes, this one. A three-inched parabolic arch. Three-inched parabolic arch.
screen the parabolic arch of 20 meter span rise this one rise is 4 meter it carries concentrated load from left support 150 kilo newton at a distance of 4 meter at a distance of 4 meter calculate the vertical reaction yes is asking what is the value of va if you take this is a b and 3 inch arch here you are having crown c c here you are having one more hinge what is va and bb va bb and h is asking va and h sha is asking va and ha yes use uh, sigma ff you use equations of statics to determine external support reaction is just like a beam Sir, it's option four, sir. Option four. It's very simple because if you take VA plus VB, VA plus VB, which is 150 kilonewton, if you take moment at B, so VA into 20, which is equal 150 into 16, remaining 20 minus 4. So what is the value of VA? 150 into 16 divided by 20. So 120. So 120 kilonewton. Once you got, you have to see the option. There is only one option is 120. If you do HA, you are getting 75 only. How you are getting 75? You consider any one portion of the arch. So here, you know this reaction. This is 120, and this is the HA you required. HA you required, and this crown height is also given. This height is given as four meter. And also there is one more force that is 150 kilonewton. It's exactly 10 meter, 10 minus four. This will be six meter. This will be six meter, 10 minus four. It will be six meter, six meter. Now you take moment at this section C. So MC if you take, so what happens MC if you take, so Sigma MC equals zero. If you apply this equilibrium equation, so HA multiplied by four anti-clockwise minus, this is anti-clockwise anti-clockwise and this is clockwise plus 120 multiplied by 10 120 multiplied by 10 minus this is also minus 150 multiplied by 6 which is equal to 0 compute HA value compute HA value HA is nothing but 1200 minus 1200 minus 750 divided by 4 how much Compute HA. We cannot run. Therefore, the option. 75. Option 4. See, generally, they will ask this type of uh, very simple reaction in arches because the main thing is this one. If they give, if I am the sitter, I will give here also 120. In that case, you are giving the confusion. Which one is right? In that case, you must do this. Okay. Okay, next we'll move on to next question. Yes, this is also a similar type of question. Try to solve this. A three inch parabolic arch of span 30 meter. <coughs> the span is 30 meter. And rise is 5 meter, not 4 meter, 5 meter. The rise is 5 meter. It is subjected to a point load of 40 kilonewton. It is subjected to a point load of 40 kilonewton at a distance of 20 meter from the right hinge. Right hinge, see, this is very, very important. This is the right hinge. So 40 kilonewton. So uh, 20 meter and from left hinge is 10 meter, 10 meter. Uh, calculate the vertical reaction. Of left support is asking only VA now. It's asking only VA now. So this is 20 meters. Yes, compute VA. Only VA. This yes, what is the value of VA now?
80 by 3 sir 80 by 3 26.67 how much 26.67 yes see the option is d d yes sir good a 3 inch arch is a 3 inch arch is statically determinate statically determinate a 3 inch parabolic arch 3 inch it is a standard one please try to remember this we are not going to derive and all so 3 inch it's option arch. 1 option 1 okay let's see here 3 inch arch of length l of length l and having a rise rise h is subjected to udl of intensity w or subjected to udl of intensity w entire span this is very very important sometime they will ask half of the span okay sometime if you if you ask half of the span it will become doubles so like this okay for this case uh, what is the answer wl square by 8h wl square by 8h good have to remember this horizontal truss this is h value by 8 inch a 3 inch parabolic arch is hinged at the springing and at the crown see springing means it's a 3 inch arch here and here and this is hinged 3 inch span and rise of span is 40 and rise is 10 the left half of the arch this is very very important the left half of the arch is having udl of 32 kN per meter what is the horizontal thrust what is the h value see previous case uh, what we studied uh, that is w l square by for full udl what is the equation for full udl If it is full UDL, what is the equation? Previous only we just uh, discussed. Right? W L square by eight H. W L square by eight H. If it is partial, if it is half, then H equal W L square by sixteen H. Please remember. So now substitute the end values. Sir, it's three twenty, sir. Three twenty. That's all. If, please remember these two things. Very very important. Very very important. <coughs> the three inch arch is subjected to full length UDL WL square by eight H. If it is half of the length, double. If it is quarter, if it is quarter, thirty two H triple. Thirty two H. Usually they will ask only full length half. Please remember these two equation. Full length half. Okay, let me move on to next question. Three twenty. Yes, for a three-inch parabolic arch shown in figure, it says shown in figure four kilometer downward and five meter. What is the value of horizontal reaction? The value of H. Only take left half of the portion and uh, compute VA and H. Only compute this portion. Consider this portion. So first compute B A and take moment left side. So this height is four meter. So without B A you cannot uh, solve H. First solve B A. Sir, it's two point five so. Okay, B A plus B B equals four. Option D. Okay, let's see B B into twenty. Which is equals to four into five. So what is the value of VB you are getting? No, we require VA right. For left side we have to we require VA only. So twenty VA 
20 VA equals to 4 into 15. So VA equal 3 kilonewton. So if you take a moment, so 3 into 10, 3 into 10 minus 4 into 5. Three into this particular thing ten, so it's ten five minus four into five minus h into four, so thirty minus twenty equal four h, h equal ten by four. How much? Two point five five. See, this is the answer. Have to take moment here x x. So this is anti-clockwise h into height is 4. Next this anti-clockwise 4 into this is 10 minus 5 is 5. And this VA is 3, 3 into 10. So we are getting 2.5. So whatever we solve this kind of problem. Yes, a 3 engine symmetrical parabolic arch. Symmetrical parabolic arch. This is symmetrical parabolic arch. Of span 20 meters. Of span 20 meter carries UDL of 12 whole span. And is a UDL of 2 kilonewton per meter over 20 span. What is the bending moment? What is the bending moment at quarter span? Quarter span means 20 by 20 by 4. 5 meters. Yes. Determine the values. Symmetrical parabolic arch. See, this is very simple. Yes, what is the answer? Any guesses? For 15, what is the answer? Someone in chat box. Yes, D. Why D? It is zero. Why it is zero? Because bending moment is zero everywhere in the. Yes. Why I am asking D? I am asking internal bending moment. It is zero. I am asking bending moment zero. Here at section you are getting zero. At any section the bending moment is zero. Okay. If you do all this circus, no use. You can directly go to zero option in case of arches. Is the internal force at any cross section of arch? What is the thing? What is the option? Yes, what is the option? C. Option C. Yes, normal thrust. C, whatever forces we derived here on the line, what we termed as? Normal thrust opposite radial shear. But what is the internal force? Which one is internal force? This is on the spanel. Spanel over there, normal thrust force. This is the normal thrust. Normal thrust only at any cross section. If you take any cross section, xx or xx, this value of force is normal thrust. Yes, the effect of arching in a beam is the effect of arching in a beam. Is any guesses? Why we are doing arching action? Arching multiple yake. Arches na katara yake. Arches na ni mane margada illa. Arch arch tara door door na illa le bari arches aktare. Yaki and arches prefer Martare generally arching action at Kurtare. Yes, just to bending moment. Yes, to reduce the bending moment. Arching will always reduce the bending moment. That is very, very important. Okay, this is a general concept. Sometimes they will ask arching action. Arching action means to reduce the bending moment. 
Range with symmetrical arch carries UDL entire span at any section of subject it to what? Option D. Normal thrust only because bending moment and shear forces are zero. Then what we expect? Normal thrust only. Very good. A three inch symmetrical parabolic arch is subjected to UDL or entire span. The bending moment is what is the option? The bending moment zero is zero. Very simple. Due to rising temperature, yes, <laughs> in the three inch arch, the stresses induced is none. None because what is the reason? We, do, we, we already told that because of stress, temperature, there is no change in stresses. There is no change in stresses. The only change is uh, the crown will increase, the it's... horizontal uh, reaction will decrease, the horizontal thrust will decrease. As for 3 inch parabolic arch, what is the location of maximum bending moment provided? The whole of pan is covered with UDL. Option D. Option D. Option D. D. Option D. D. Bending moment will not occur. We know that bending moment and shear force is zero. Only normal thrust will go into. These are the indirect questions. They will ask n, n number of indirect questions. N number of indirect questions regarding this. Especially with respect to Three inch arches. Only one question they will ask. One simple question they will ask. Yes, a linear arch has. Linear arch has. Any guesses? Any guesses? Option A. A. In chart option A, right? Because whatever the kind of arch it's having only thrust, there's no shear force. That is one only. One only. there's no shear force and there is no bending moment. That's the main point. Yes, which one of the following statement is correct? Linear arch is one which represents thrust. Option three. Yes, option. there is no bending moment. There is no bending moment. Uh, yes, option C is right. Option C. Yes, very good. Because there is no variation in shear force. There's only thrust line. There is normal thrust. So these are all the indirect way of question they are posing. Yes, the maximum positive bending moment at section of three inch parabolic arch occurs when the load is at. Crown. Option, option, option B. At the crown. At the crown. Or option A. At the section. There are two things. At the crown, the quarter point is eliminated, support is eliminated. A and B. You are having two things. Where you can expect at the section or at the crown. This is related to influence line. It's not A. Yes. Others. The crown. See, when you are influence line, what you are doing in influence line? You are going to consider a section. If it is an influence line, you are going to take a section. At that particular point, we are going to compute the values. Yes, right. The value is A. See, please don't write crown. It is section. Please take a note. Uh, important. The maximum positive, positive bending moment of a section of a section of about three inch parabolic arch occurs when load is at the section. Whenever there is load at that particular point, you may expect the positive bending moment. At this, it is an influence line, influence line concept at section only in arches. Yes, for parabolic symmetrical three inch arch, the maximum positive and bending negative, positive and negative moment occurs at P, which, which while a point load traverses from left to right, this is also influence line concept, influence line concept. 
3 into the parabolic arch symmetrical maximum positive and negative moments occur at point p while uh, a point load moves left to right left to right over the crown c over the crown c when when it is possible on which conditions you may expect this see if you take a section somewhere this is c section so for this particular problem for this particular problem where c is the crown where c is the crown point where c is the crown point so you are moving uh, the p value so if you put on p so here you you may expect maximum moment at section here not section here is is make a statement that over the crown so here there is no section will come so p is on the crown which point which which uh, option represent the load is at a and c no here a here b is not possible case the load is at a and b no uh, load is load is p and c respectively see this is the point where the crown on the load p acts on that case you are getting maximum maximum positive or negative he is not stating that here what happens if you write the, if you if you know the bending moment diagram sometime like this or like this i i hope you have drawn this in your ug it may be because of loadings so this is the point if section is not given the crown is the point you may expect positive or negative both the moment will happen so the option is c, c. the option is c be careful this is influence line diagram this both are related to ild concept yes maximum negative bending moment at a section a 3 inch parabolic arch occurs the load is at where you may expect negative bending moment option b at crown any other answers uh sir i guess it's option d d none of the above see uh, while we are we are dealing with influence line diagram oriented this we are getting both negative and positive moment i have explained in earlier problem if i am talking about internal bending moment internal shear force that is zero but if i holistically if i talk about the reactions the bending moment will occur it's at the crown yes it's at the crown only it's at the crown you may expect maximum negative bending moment even if if the zone it will cross as positive or negative i have shown whatever in previous diagram so this is very very important thing when a point load moves over 3 and 3 inch arch the absolute maximum negative bending moment will occur at where see option uh, c please keep one one point in your mind if you are not able to analyze the influence line diagram of arch it is generally it's a refer to similar to beam of your beam so it's like two hinges two hinges that's all when you are writing uh, your uh, whatever the shear force or bending moment diagram for this generally what you will do here it's a one more hinge is there i have shown that the whatever the equation for uh, your uh, uh, arch you are i have shown like this and this this is a positive and negative moment so this is the thing you have to remember i have shown the value of what is the maximum and what is the minimum and all, and all. so if uh, i'm talking about the negative absolute moment where it, the bending moment can happen it is a very very general generally expected standard question for this you have to remember at quarter span you may expect absolute maximum uh, bending moment negative bending moment generally in arches see these are uh, four to five questions are there with respect to ild concept you just try to remember those if they ask in a general way the what is the internal bending moment that is zero what is the internal shear force that is zero only thrust can happen that is normal thrust so remaining this part you can remember four to five mcq questions directly you may uh, be able to answer this very simple question yes three inch semi circular arch see yeah, that's why i told that you may get semi circular you may get parabolic 
So the three angular arch is not purely a parabolic one. Yes, which one is the answer? It is also standard question. Yes, W R by B. W R by two. We have to remember this. W R by two. Yes. Next question. Next question. Yes, a three inch parabolic arch is a span of length L and its uh, abutments at different levels. See, now the arches at different level. Maybe like this at different levels. Uh, so you have to remember the standard equation, that's all. So of length L and its abutments are at a depth of H1 and H2 below the crown hinges, below the crown hinges, H1 and H2, the arch carries a UDL run over the whole span. The, what is the horizontal thrust? What is the H? Any guesses? B. B. Yes, the 29 option, any guesses? Is A, A or B? A, A or B? Option A. Option A. See here, there is no whole square. See, this is option A. Please don't make a mistake. That is the H value is, the H value is, please uh, take a note and take it this diagram. Take this diagram, especially H equals W L square divided by two times of square root of H1 plus square root of H2 whole square. This is very, very important. Please take a diagram. Afterwards, you just take an equation. Try to take a diagram. Afterwards, just try to take the equation. Just try to remember the equation. That is W L square divided by 2 into square root of H1 plus H2 whole square. Square root of H1 plus H2 whole square. Okay. Yes. For this, any answers? A three inch arch consisting of consisting of two quadrantal parts, AC and CB radiate. So this is also the two, two quadrantal parts means the two quadrantal parts means the thing is this is also different level, different level, different level. Arches are different level. One may be radius R1 and other may be radius R2. R1, R2. So R is a different level. Concentrated load. Here instead of W, instead of UDL, the thing is W is acting on chrome. The horizontal thrust. See, there are two standard cases. One is UDL, one is point load. You just remember, try to remember both the things. What is H value? Any idea? Yes, any guesses? W by 2. Yes, very good. This yes, W by 2. Let's try to remember this. Previous one is WL square divided by 2 into square root of H1 plus H2 whole square. Here in this case, it is whatever the concentrated load, capital W divided by 2. That's all for different levels, R1, R2, okay. Yes, maximum negative bending moment at a section of a three inch parabolic arch occurs when load is at, where? Crown. Crown, sir. At crown only. Please be think negative. Actually, we discussed this. Quarter point, sir. Yes, at quarter points, maximum negative bending moment. Please remember, I have explained like you just keep as a beam, right? In previous slide, that is at quarter point, at quarter point. So don't confuse and don't uh, uh, go to that particular option crown for everywhere. Okay, there is a maximum Sir? positive and negative if you ask crown. If only negative you ask at quarter span. Please uh, make a sure that if positive or negative, both will occur at crown. Only negative, it's at quarter span. It's at quarter span only. 
so try so, to yes so what's the difference between maximum negative and absolute maximum negative moment <laughs> absolute maximum negative maximum negative both are same the thing is both are same in the sense that if you say that if you consider a beam beam or arch any anyone no, nothing to worry about the structure see if you write the standard uh, ild case for shear so this is negative this is positive so here uh, if you say for an example it may be any type of loading it may be point load or it may be udl i will going to consider a udl now if you having the uh, first condition the udl may act like this in this case the both absolute and maximum occurs at mid span in this case whatever the maximum negative moment as well as absolute uh, bending absolute shear both are same maximum shear absolute shear both are same but what happens in the second case what happens in the second case second case if you are having only this portion of udl so you are having section here you are having section here so when you are talking about maximum when you are talking about maximum shear force you have to consider the entire section when you are what talking about absolute shear force you have to take the consideration of load okay so okay so uh, this is regarding absolute and maximum s a concentrated load w moves on the span of 3 inch arch the horizontal thrust at supports is maximum when load is at which one of the following any guesses any guesses a concentrated load w moves on the span of 3 inch arch the horizontal thrust supports is maximum when load so you are you have to get h max when what is the loader position when where where it is in quarter span or at crown or at springing level when the horizontal force is maximum when it is maximum see it's a common sense question see crown sir yes because if you take at crown if you take at crown what happens if you take will crown, be maximum the, the bending moment will be default zero for load so it is maximum only if you take here it, the effect will come if you take here the effect will come if you take at h if you take at crown then only this effect will eliminate right so now this is more h value is more right so the option is c now the option is d 32 d that is at crown s any guesses 3 inch semi circular arch of radius r carries a concentrated load w at crown the horizontal thrust acting on the arch it's actually w by pi so w so it, none of them is correct yes the value is w by pi w by pi yes sir so don't mark anything just take it as a grace or you if they give instead of here it's right okay so i think uh, this completes your entire arches as well as influence line diagram i hope we completed uh, all the concepts uh, associated with your entire syllabi so uh, if you are having any doubts in any of the topics we will discuss now or else if sir, you I have a doubt sir yes yes we will discuss okay yes hidam ma uh, sir in a three hinged arch okay so, uh, so suppose if the case is like it is hinged at the supports okay and uh, and the third hinge is at the quarter span uh you are telling that from the left abutment wait so you are telling that the uh, here you are having two hinges yes Instead sir of one hinge you are having here yes sir so it is at the uh, yeah left quarter span quarter span hinge yes okay. sir so the uh -huh. third hinge is over there okay. and uh, uh, suppose the udl is subjected all throughout the span 
Okay. So what will be the horizontal thrust in this case? So the main question, uh, my question is, sir. So first of all, uh, we know how to find out the support reactions. Yes, yes. sir. And then in order to find out the horizontal thrust, yes. my question is, do we have to take a moment about the crown is equal to zero like we take oh, in other problems? Obviously, you have to take about moment at crown equal to zero and we have to consider the span of UDL over L by 4 only. Span because of? you are having a quarter span, crown. Okay. Yes, sir. So, on that distance only, you have to consider UDL. Andre, moment about quarter span only equal to zero or moment about crown is equal to zero? Moment about... Crown. Crown is at the quarter span, right? No, no, sir. The, the crown is wherever it is already there. But the third hinge is present at the quarter span. See, the, my question is... Yes, sir. When we are term, terming as a crown, crown is the thing when you are having hinge. So, the up to the other height is crown. I... Or else you are, you are having here, here you are taking just like a height H1, H2, H3 and all. When you are terming as a crown, there is a hinge. So crown is the point where hinge. Where you are in, in imposing the hinge. Okay. In, in general sense, what we will do here is a special case, whatever you are saying. But yes, in generally sir. what happens, crown is always the top portion. Okay. At top portion only we are going to provide the crown. That is hinge. Mm -hmm. But here in this case, you are saying that here it's there. Okay, whatever it may be. You, you consider this as a crown, no problem. But this is the equation you have to find. This is the rise. This is the rise you have to find using y equal 4hx l minus x by l square. And x, you know that x is l by 4. So moment you are taking about the wherever hinge is. Ah, yes, it and you take this h h into rise. Rise is this, this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, sir. And substitute the x value as l by 4. Yes, sir. That, Don't forget. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sir. Huh? Okay. So this is how we, we further yes. solve. That's all. You just, uh, as per concept, you just move. If so the is thing crown, is, okay. in order, so the, uh, the main question was, in order to find out the horizontal thrust, we have to take moment about that particular point wherever hinge. the third hinge is existing. Yes, obviously. Oh. That is right. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. That was my question. Thank you, sir. Yes, okay. Any other okay. doubts in your entire syllabus I'm asking? Any other doubts? The 33rd question, Anzali sir. In sir. 33rd question, sir. Last question. Last question. Yes. I will answer W by pi bartha, sir. See, three hinged semicircular arch <coughs> of radius R. Semicircle. Circle, nimge circle lo, semicircle lo, yene barle. So there may be a equation in pi will exist. Okay. okay. Uh, so in this case, if you are getting, if you are not having pi in option, obviously they must give. Okay. Generally, what we'll do in uh, some of the textbooks, they are giving W by 2 as the answer. But if you go with the concept, you are getting W by pi. W by whatever told me to pi, pi, pi only. Yes. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. Pi, sir. Yes, pi only. But in some of the things, they will ignore or they will give us W by 2 as the answer. Yes, any other or C, I will tell you the things. Uh, which are the concepts you have to read uh, in detail. Okay. See, generally in your examination, KPSC is going to set the question paper. So my suggestion is, uh, totally you may expect 35 questions, 35 questions, 30 to 35 is the minimum. You may get 40 okay, questions, 40 questions maximum. In some cases, if structure faculty is the setter for your entire, they may give maximum of 40, 41, 42 questions. So minimum generally 30 plus, minimum 30 plus question, it must so generally, the, so my suggestion is, as per your concepts, as per your concepts, the principal stresses, the principal stresses and basics, minimum three to four question. 
so principal stresses and basics in basics they will, will come material characteristics thermal stresses and all it covers four questions max and next year concept is next year concept is structures this is very very important structures in structures determinacy indeterminacy determinacy computation indeterminacy computation of stresses frames beams proper cantilevers so uh, obviously one or two question in basics in advanced level in advanced level what they will do they are asking to compute stiffness rotation factor and relative stiffness distribution factor and conditions so all sub together you may expect 6 to 8 questions 6 to 8 question 6 to 8 questions in sft bmd sft bmd sure match the following and all things deflection including slopes deflections deflections you may get 5 to 6 questions 5 to 6 question they will ask standard udl they will give standard uvl they will give you they will ask to what is the deflection at which span what is the slope by casting liano theorem so you are having so several things in slopes and deflection especially classic liano and dummy load method unit load method that is a ds your analysis of determinate structures this is especially sfd bmd only this is basics of as indeterminate structures it is in determinate structures here you may get like uh, castig liano theorem strain energy concept five to six question you are having here three four methods castig liano theorem dummy load method strain energy method strain energy in bending strain energy in flexure strain energy in axial force so five to six questions okay next in you are having ild concept in ild is very basic in very basic in very basic you are getting three question in very basic means the beam is subjected to uh, the thing is only concentrated load at some point what is the standard uh, negative basf positive sf uh, yesterday class what we discussed uh, in rolling loads rolling loads you may get two question rolling loads compute the maximum bending moment distance and udl u and point load there are several things you may get two questions and also in arches you may get one or two questions in arches two questions in arches two questions so totally how much i for 12 uh, 18 uh, 24 27 32 34 c here only it will 34 maximum they may give one 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 extra question I have given minimum thing so finally it will come around 40 questions minimum clear these are the concepts so you must focus on structures <coughs> very very deep and detail so sft bmd if you if you sf if you know sft bmd you can easily do influence line diagram concepts so be prepared if you are having any doubts if you solve more number of mcq questions this is mcq uh, oriented exam so try to uh, in, in whatever the in given time i tried my level best to give whatever knowledge i know so i have transferred to you people so please refer all those videos and materials go through the things solve more number of mcq questions so be prepared for your whatever the last uh, exam in uh, pwd in uh, core generally if you success in structures obviously you are getting more than one uh, score your score is for 200 you may get 120 130 easily if you success in structures okay so in this in this passion try to catch all the subjects so in structures you may or you may get around uh, say for an example in structures you are getting 35 question in structures so in enemy you are getting around 20 questions in highway you are getting around 20 questions so if you focus on these three things if you focus on these three things so minimum 15 questions see this is the minimum i have put maximum for this if you focus on these three concepts so maximum you may get 40 so you are covering around 35 45 55 60 70 questions 70 questions in this three concept 70 questions so in another construction uh, management construction management and bridge you may get 10 question you may get 10 question 
so maximum i hope within this three subject they will cover your 80 to 85% of syllabi within these three structures nv highway within this they will cover 80 80% of your mcq so that's why the major share the major share will come to structures majorly structures will cover your 50% in that 85% so my suggestion is take it as serious read well you are having a best and best opportunity now so if your score is uh, greater than 200 for 400 to 230 to 40 is your score easily you are getting the opportunity for interview so i hope i made concepts are clear uh, so once again i am introducing myself myself dr shri keshavar ks i'm from jyotin stoff technology so i have given you uh, if you want any concepts you may refer my youtube channel in my youtube channel i have given all the videos especially some senior faculties uh, or thought uh, your uh, influence line diagram and all you just go to google, uh, youtube type my name dr shri keshwa you are getting the channel anytime you refer that particular theoretical video mcq you will just solve okay so uh, if you are having any doubts i will clarify uh, we are having another 5 minutes or else we can leave so thank you very much i i, I thank epic minds or uh, that is uh, for giving the opportunity creative minds creating minds giving the opportunity to teach you for this particular subject i hope i cleared your all of doubts as well as i have given a little bit foundation to your subject okay thank you pa thank you all thanks a lot sir thank you sir. Thank, you. thank you very much sir thanks thanks a lot sir thank you thank you sir thank you sir thank you please be prepared if you are getting any doubts you just contact me at any time no problem i will help to solve your whatever the problems and all Okay thank you pa thank you all thank, thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir thank you all sir